Hi, my name's uh, Tony O'Neill, I'm the author of Down and Out on Murder Mile, as you can see here. Um, just a little bit about, I guess, I guess why I, st I started um, writing. Um, I started writing because I was really tired of all of my favorite authors being dead, and it seemed like for a while I wasn't uh, picking up books by anyone alive. And then one day I was in, in Soho, in London, ghosting around the shops, and uh, there was a great bookstore there that I used to frequent all the time. And the reason why it was so great was it had two doors, and one door led out onto like an alleyway with strip clubs. So you could shoplift from there real easy. I didn't have a lot of money at the time. Of course, I, now I think anyone who shoplifts book, especially mine, should have their hands chopped off. But um, so anyway, I stole this book. This book had an interesting looking cover, and it was this guy called Dan Fante. Um, and uh, I didn't even make the connection. He was John Fante's son. And his book completely uh, cracked my head wide open. And I realized that, wow, like, people actually were still publishing books like this. And so that's what kind of started, started my mind um, ticking, that I should maybe put some of these stories down before I forgot them. And uh, when I was um, coming off of methadone the last time, I really felt this was make or break. I'd been a musician and my career had kind of gone nowhere. And uh, I felt that if I, could, if I could just sit down and, and write it down, um, it, it would somehow save me from being a complete and utter fuck up. And uh, so yeah, so I wrote, I, I wrote the book it, and it, um, the words kind of haven't stopped coming since. Um, this book started off as a fictional book and um, I realized that there were so many autobiographical elements in it that I just um, cut out all of the fictional stuff and then just turned it into basically a book about my life. Um, although it isn't a memoir, um, because I'm not a big fan of m memoirs. Um, I always feel like, you know, I'm not Winston Churchill, so nobody's going to want to read my memoirs. And um, I, 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 I feel almost cheeky presenting a life that basically amounted to um, you know, I got a record deal at 18 and then spent 10 years injecting heroin and smoking crack as a memoir like I'd actually achieved something special, like I'd, you know, if I cure cancer I'll write my memoir, but until then I'm, I'm writing novels and I guess, you know, looking for a kind of lineage of writers that I like, it's people like Alexander Trotsky, Henry Miller, Charles Bukowski, um, guys that basically if you read their novels you're reading a, a memoir of, of uh, an account of their lives, but um, you know, at least then I have the freedom to uh, take people out or put people in or um, make myself look much more clever and fantastic than I, I actually am in real life. Um, and uh, that's it. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>